Um, traditionally, we would stand when the bride comes in. So if you want to stand, we'll stand for Jenny Lynn. also makes you one flesh, one love. This is a new adventure. Now for this to be the best for everyone, this covenant of marriage must be a wholehearted commitment to each other and to this partnership. This is the making of a covenant which is the highest expression of loving commitment. It's not taken carelessly but with great respect and great joy. Your paths through life have intersected, and now you have joined to form a solitary road. You and your families have, a part, have embarked on this path together. Today, this couple have come here to become one in the institution of marriage, but I am required by law to ask that if any of you can show any reason why they may not be married today, that you speak now or forever hold your peace. Good, we're ready to go. So now, Mike, I have to get you to repeat after me. This can be a tongue twister, but I, I promise I'll say it in little things so you Good. can just repeat after me. I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare. That I do not know, that I do not know, of any lawful impediment, of any lawful impediment, why I, why I, Michael Gordon Brown, Michael Gordon Brown, may not be joined in matrimony, may not be joined in matrimony, to Jenny Lynn Paho Percon, to Jenny Lynn Paho Percon, yay, <laughs> Jenny Lynn, and I'm sorry if I'm saying names wrong, okay. I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly de declare that I do not know. That I do not know of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful impediment. Why I. Why I. Genuine Paho Percon. Genuine Paho Percon. May not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. To Michael Gordon Brown. To Michael Gordon Brown. Yay. Okay. <laughs> Are you okay standing? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now you have been together for some time. You began as acquaintances, then friends, then more than friends, and now here you are today. You know that neither of you wants to live with anyone else. Your relationship is solid, and you are committed to each other. You have shared much in your time together, but there is lots. Even after you've been married for many years, surprises still come up. Take each one of them with a grain of salt and a smile and a laugh. Once you are married, expand your shared joy and divide and diminish your sadness. Michael will be your hero as you suffer loss or pain. Jenny Lynn will be your rock as you face your demons. Together, you will find new heights. There may be times when you can't stand yourself, but your partner will stick with you no matter what and manage to show you that you are truly worthy of love. But be gentle with each other. The 
person who can hurt you, hurt you the easiest is the person you love the most. This is a great power, so be very careful not to hurt each other, not to abuse that power. And remember, anytime you have to go anywhere, lead with loving words. Today, they say you're marrying your best friends, but really, you're more than best friends. This is the one with whom you are going to spend the most of your time. So you have to continue to learn how to enjoy the time you have together. Now, I want to say something to these people that are here to witness this marriage. You are all here because you love these two people who have decided to marry. You have already decided to support them in this relationship. And supporting them means that you will rejoice in their happiness. You will be patient with them when they make mistakes. And believe me, they will make mistakes just like the rest of us. You will also be able to help them in times of trouble, which I hope are rare, but these times will come up. Mike and Jenny Lynn, we are happy to be here to celebrate with you formally what already exists, the living love of two people who have found joy and meaning together. You bring together two paths, different in memories, culture, traditions, hope, and loves. This will not change, but will add color to your future, so that as you become one, you will always remain two. This is good. Because marriage is not intended to be a, me a melting pot where your differences cease to exist. Rather, it is the place where you can be fully and honestly yourself. Sharing at the deepest level all that life is and what you are, where your diversity can thrive while you learn to be interdependent. Now I ask you, do you pledge to each other to be loving friends and partners in this marriage? To talk? and to listen, to trust and appreciate each other, to respect and cherish each other's uniqueness, and to support, comfort, and strengthen each other through life's joys and sorrows? Do you promise to share hopes, thoughts, and dreams in your, as you build your lives together? If so, please answer, I do. I do. I do. Now, I'm going to get you Answer me instead of having to repeat after me. Just answer me. These rings that I hold in my hand symbolize eternity, endlessness, and something that cannot be broken. Wedding rings are given as a token of love for each other, a symbol of strength of a marriage. But because these rings are a circle, there is no beginning and there is no end. They have no beginning, no end. Remember that as you exchange these rings to each other. Mike, I will get you to take Jenny Lou's ring. Um, do you want to just, can one of you girls come and grab her bouquet? Just hold her wedding bouquet? There you go. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. I guess as you, <laughs> just put it on top of it. Or with it if you want. As you place this ring on her finger, I'll get you to repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. My commitment. My commitment. And my vows. And my vows. Okay. Well, okay. That's good. That's good. No, don't try to push it on. Okay. Okay. I'll give you this, and as you place this on the ring finger of his left hand, I'll get you to repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. My commitment, my commitment, and my vows, and my vows. May your lives be ever intertwined, your love keeping you together. May you build a home that is compassionate to all, full of respect and honor for others and each other. May your home be filled forever with peace, happiness, and love. Now this is my favorite part. I, Lisa Nooner, Marriage Commissioner, by virtue of the powers invested in me by the province of Saskatchewan, do hereby declare that you are now husband and wife. And for your very first time as husband and wife, 
you may seal your vows with a kiss.